Yo, what up, YouTube? This is your boy, Food Junkie, just coming at you really quick. Just let you guys know, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people are um, talking, but no one's talking about the right things. Well, so much want to talk about. Well, let me talk about what I want to talk about as well. Welcome to everyone who's in, uh, watching the video. Let's not, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching the video. Let me say about well, yesterday. Yesterday was a lot going on, but not much at all, if you know what I mean. Yesterday, there was a lot going on, but not much at all. But let me tell you one thing that stood out to me. With all the stuff that was going on yesterday, with all the panels that was happening, that was the Gentleman's panel, that was Wally's new panel, that was the Mess Express. Of course, the Mess Express was talking about Wally's panel. Wally was doing what Wally does. And of course, um, the Mess, oh, not the Mess Express, the Gentleman's panel was doing what they do. It is what it is. It was what it was. It's going to be what it's going to be. But one thing that I noticed, there's a lot of jealousy and incompetence going on on these YouTube things. A lot of piggybacking of, um, you know, things and of people. There's a lot of that going on on this YouTube thing. And if it was done in the right way and with the right um, attitude, I can see why it was going on. But when you are just jealous, when you constantly being schooled by people on here, and constantly taking people's information, constantly, constantly taking people's content, constantly trying to one up someone with the same type of thing, and you fail miserably each and every time. Shouldn't you revamp what you're doing? Shouldn't you try to do something differently? Shouldn't you do something differently and just in general? What am I talking about? First off, like I said, the wild parents of two to two gentlemen and a woman, or two men and two men and lady, whatever it's called, with that panel, whatever. It was, hmm, meh. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, let's be honest with you. One person, I, I didn't know who that was. I really don't follow that type of um thing. I don't follow celebrity gossip because it really has nothing to do with me. Um, I'm not involved in that. I really don't care that much about it. And if I wanted to hear about it, I can read it myself. You know what I'm saying? And come up with a better explanation and better description of what, what's going on as far as celebrity gossip. So I really don't care about that. But, you know, I like Seven. You know, I really don't watch Wiley. But that panel was kind of boring, to be honest with you. It really was. Um... Until Wally came to the phone with someone on the line. ZT, of course. Don't really watch ZT. ZT don't really care about him one way or the other either. Well, that's not a big deal. But my thing is, that what got the panel popping. That what that little interaction between Wally and ZT was what got a little bit of more excitement going on in that panel. But once that panel ended, and the gentleman's panel ended, Guess who popped up with another little makeshift panel? Uh -huh. You guessed it. None other than Pastor Titty Meat. Now, Pastor Titty Meat was not. Had a little panel with Deshaun Farley and Rebel Sun. And that panel was blah as well. Was not. They're constantly talking over each other. Um, static in all the microphone. People not really being clear. You don't really know what's being said. People laughing. Thing. One person looked like they were damn um, hopped up on some drugs or on some antibiotics or something. Was not looking sleepy. All sleepy around the eye area. Was not. One person looking like. Well, let me just stop. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know how I can go off for no reason on my own little tangents, but let me stop there. But what was surprising to me is that when ZT came into the chat, Pastor Timmy is constantly begging and pleading for them to call in to join the panel. Hopefully, you can get it popping like Wally got that pop, like he got Wally's panel popping. Once again, you're copying up for someone else. Once again, you're not being original. Once again, you don't understand the fact that you need to do your own things your own way. Stop coming off the heels of what people have just done to try to reinvent the wheel. First, it was copying Tracy um cash out party. That was, I guess, was successful for you, was not. But although she was playing around with it, you try to make it into a real thing. Copying D Ramsey, um whole. The people that came to my first event can help me plan my second event. Copying Sean Bradley's um, pay little now for a discount, pay more after the fact. You see? Copying Wiley, ZT, phone call, situation was not, interaction on his panel. To your. At some point, I need you to stop 
copying off of people and be somewhat original. Oh, I forgot one. The whole Kelly Love um, Super Chat song or Cash Up song, whatever he, song he had that you tried to say, tried to sing and then tried to get mad when he said stop copying his own song. I'm just saying, at some point, I need you to come up with something original. At some point, I need you to stop biting off what other people do, what other people say, how they do it and how they say it, and be original. Do your own commentary. Come up with your own thing. Come up with some original content. If you are about teaching the kids and making sure that people know what's going on, be about that. Talk about health care concerns. Talk about schooling. Well, how can you talk about that when you really don't make sense when you talk about it? Because I could um, school you on how to get into college. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I can school you on how to get to a reputable college and what steps you need to take as a um, person to get into a reputable college. I'm just saying, I can teach you on, I, I can school you on that if you want me to, but you know, that's not what my channel is about. My channel is about a little bit of math and my talent. And getting to college really is a talent, more of a skill and a process for young adults. And my, and my channel is not for young adults. So yeah. Anyways, like I'm saying, it was really funny while all the panels was going on yesterday was that you were taking notes and trying to copy something to help you get more numbers on your channel. And you got curved by ZT. And just wait. He knew that you were shading him. <laughs> when you kept saying, oh, don't be scared. Don't be scared. And things like that. He caught that shade you were throwing at him, sir. And just be prepared for what he throws back at you. I'm just saying, don't claim to be a victim. When he come back at you, the way he's going to come back at you. Like I said, I don't care for him. I don't know him. Really don't watch him. Like that. But I do know that he caught that shit you was throwing him. And that's why he curbed you. You think you can tell people what to do? Oh, email me tonight. Make sure you do that tonight. If you want to email you, it's not like he said in the comment section. I got the email. <laughs> After you kept dropping your email in, a, in the chat, pretty much begging him to come on to the panel with you. He just simply put, I got the email. <laughs> you didn't see how he curved you. You didn't see that? You didn't recognize that. You didn't get it. He curved you. <laughs> it's so funny. You've been curbed by everybody. And just wait. I'm just saying. But yeah, that's what people are not talking about. That's what I haven't heard on these streets so far today. That I've been running these little streets. I heard a little bit of commentary about how boring all the panels were and stuff like that was not. I didn't hear about how old boy tried to um, copy by getting ZT to get on his channel. To make it pop. And then got curved by ZT. So I have to talk about it. And let you guys know. That's what the real tea was yesterday. That's what the real information was. That's where the real jokes and stuff came from yesterday. At least for me. You know what I'm saying. I have a strange sense of humor. But yeah, you guys. This is your boy Food Junkie. So what's going to for a quick moment while it's not. I'll talk to y'all later. I'll see y'all on my way to work in a little bit. And until then, you guys. You have a great day. Love yourself, love someone else, respect yourself, and definitely respect someone else. Until next time, 